All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Uh, today, we're going to be going over how to exclude people who have already converted from your campaign, so that you're not continuing to target people who have already reached, uh, you know, who have already bought from you, who have already filled out your contact form, whatever your goal is. So, what we're going to do is exclude those people, so you don't continue to target them. Um, so, we're in AdWords here. I have a display campaign here. It's a remarketing campaign and just a regular search campaign. And for both campaigns, what we're trying to do is just increase overall subscribers to our email list. Um, so when people go through, they hit our newsletter page. Our newsletter page has a form on it. They fill out the form. They go to our thank you page, or it's a confirm page. Uh, so what we want to do is when people do hit that page, the confirm page, after they fill out the form, what we want to do is remove them from both of these campaigns. So what you're going to have to do first is go into Google Analytics here, and you have to actually create an audience uh, based around your goal that people completed. So Come into conversions over here, goals and overview. Um, so however you have goals set up, however you have your conversion set up, maybe you have an e-commerce website, uh, maybe you're just like us, you're a business, you're getting you know newsletter subscriptions. So whatever it is, uh, you have to set up your goal first. Um, so we have our goal set up here. So every time someone hits the confirm page, so it's happened 49 times this month so far, every time someone hits the confirm page, we actually have it as a goal completion. So it counts as a conversion for us because people have filled out uh, that they want to join our email newsletter uh, so they just hit our confirm page and we have them as a goal completion so now what I want to do is all 49 of these goal completions let's just assume it's 49 separate people uh, what we want to do is exclude them from our current campaign so that we're not continuing to target them if they've already reached the goal that we want them to reach so what we're gonna do is come down to admin here uh, so we're in Google Analytics you want to come to admin go to audience definitions and audiences so now what we have to do is actually create an audience uh, of people who hit that confirm page. So we're going to click new audience and then we're going to do users who visited a specific section of my website and we're going to do page contains confirmed. So the same way that the goal is set up. Uh, you can see here it should come up, your list of pages should come up that people are hitting. So it's just page contains confirm apply. So it's saying over the last seven days 27 people have hit this page. Um, so membership duration we want to do it as long as possible. The longest you can do is 540 days. Um, so we want to keep these people out of uh, of our advertising campaigns where we're actually trying to drive new newsletter subscriptions for, for for as long as possible 540 days so audience name what we're gonna do is newsletter conversions so that we know people this audience is people who have already converted through our newsletter click next step uh, now you want to publish this both to your AdWords account and to your analytics account so we're gonna publish this audience to both click publish okay so now it's we have this published into AdWords now, so now we come back into AdWords. You might have to um, just refresh your page just so AdWords pulls in the new audience because we just published it from Analytics, so if you don't refresh your page, they're not able to actually uh, pull it in. Okay, so we're at the campaign screen here. So first we're going to go into our display campaign, remarketing AdWords. We're at the whole campaign level. You could just click on audiences now. Um, so you click on the campaign, then just click on audiences. Um, so now you can target specific users. So we're saying we want to target all users right now. It's for our ad group. So what we want to do is exclude people who have already converted. So you want to come into exclusions here. Um, so audience exclusions are audiences that you don't want to target, that you want to exclude from your campaign. So we click plus on the audience exclusions, and it's going to be exclude from campaign, remarketing AdWords. And we're going to click on remarketing. And now we want to come down to website visitors and what you want to do is newsletter conversion so it'll pull in the people that have converted so now we have one selected here newsletter conversions we're going to click on save okay so newsletter conversions is an excluded audience now so now we come into audiences you can see we're targeting our all users audience so everybody who's visited our website i'm not sure how long we have that set up maybe seven days 30 days and exclusions we're actually excluding people who have converted the newsletter conversions audience that we just made in the previous step here uh, so this audience here, newsletter conversions, anybody who hits that confirm page. So we come back into AdWords. Uh, we want to go back to our campaigns here. And now we want to do the search campaign. It's actually the same exact process. Just click on the campaign. If you want to just do it for a specific ad group, you can click on that ad group. We want to add it to the whole campaign level um, so that we just remove these people from the campaign altogether. Uh, we're not targeting any audiences in our search campaign, but we come to exclusions. Uh, we want to do audience exclusion, same exact thing, exclude from campaign, newsletter, and free ebook, list name, website visitors, and newsletter conversions. Click save, and that's that. So whatever audience you have, whatever goal you have set up, you can create uh, that audience right through analytics here too. Um, so whether it's someone who's bought from you, whether it's someone who's you know, filled out one of your forms like us, you can exclude them from your current campaign. So you can actually save your money and optimize your budget better by excluding people who have already converted. So 
pretty simple process. It's just about creating that audience uh, based around whatever your goal is, whatever your key performance indicator is, and then excluding that audience through AdWords. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, and thanks for joining us today.